What it is, Tube, you welcome back to the channel, ladies and gents. Today's little video is going to be about hit this here. What is it? Turn art, the steering wheel lock. Remember, I told you guys a couple videos ago that I was planning on getting the steering wheel lock. So, to go along with the cover plate, the wheel lock, the steering wheel lock is our newest addition to safety. Still don't have like a kill switch or anything like that, but don't worry, we're working on it. I haven't decided whether we're going with a manual one or a system like an IGLA, put in extra money. And I was thinking about, you know, the typical metal ones that, you know, you just pull out, big old rod. And I just, I couldn't get with the idea of it. And finally, one of my other buddies, Adam, he uh, sent me the link to one of these guys, but it was on like a different website. I think it was like 90 bucks. And it was like a name, I think it was like Sparco. Sparco makes one of these. However, it was like 90 bucks. And they'll get on Amazon and the same exact thing, literally the same exact thing for 30 bucks. So that's what I bought. Got a $30 one. And you can see it comes with three keys. I'll show you right here. Got your three keys. A little hard to get it out. Sorry, you guys are gonna have to bear with me. I don't have my gimbal. So I would like set you guys up to show you, but I'm gonna just like throw it on and all you do so here, I'll show you the picture right here. All you do is loop it through the steering wheel, and then you just buckle it up right there. So through the steering wheel, buckle it up. Now, a lot of you are like, well, what the hell is the good is that going to do? Well, obviously, it's going to not let the person turn the freaking car. And if you freaking move your seat back, like if you have the easy access or so on or something like that, whenever you get out, you know, the steering wheel goes up, the windows, you know, move, and your 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 seat goes back. If you have that feature set to on, your seat is already going to go back anyway. So you're going to be, you're, it's going to be a nice and tight stretch to give you as least movability in the steering wheel or at least play possible in the steering wheel. So, and if you don't have that feature, then when you get out, simply move the freaking seat back if you're going to be installing this here steering wheel lock. But like I was saying, I didn't really, I couldn't really get with the, the I guess the, uh, the unsightness. I mean, this isn't any better, but it's better than that yellow one. It's better than that red one. So I just went with the black one. I figured, you know, it's not too crazy looking. You don't got this big metal thing just hanging on your steering wheel. And it's a lot softer too. So I didn't want to worry about, you know, damaging the leather or buttons or anything like that. Got this nice, you know, it's a metal cable wrapped in rubber or whatever the hell is wrapped in. And then you got this nice fabric right here on the other end. And like I said, all you do is loop it through the steering wheel, lock it out however direction you want to. Usually I just leave it straight. And you know, you lock it here and you take your keys. Well, once it's locked, you, you just unlock it with the keys, but you just press it down in there like you're buckling up the seat. And I'll go ahead and throw it on for you guys, show you how it looks. You see, it's looped through. You just loop it through the steering wheel, loop it through itself, take the buckle in, buckle it up. And it's a little far back right now, so I might have to put bring the seat forward. There you go. There you go. And she's locked into place. And she's not coming out. Press the button. Not coming. And there you have it. And you take your steering wheel, like I said. Obviously, if you want to make it as difficult as possible, then you lock your steering wheel out a certain direction, like maybe all the way right or all the way left. So they can't just drive straight out with your damn car. Now, clearly, you're not going to be able to turn it anywhere. Let's say get in here and, you know, try to cut this out, which is going to be another ass pain. And like I said, none of this stuff is 100%, but anything to slow the bad guys down is worth it. So it's 30 bucks, another cheap piece of insurance to go along with the other pieces that we already got, and we're good to go. Now, obviously, I'm not going to be doing this every little stop that I make, but... It's something that you could just do whenever you're, you know, think you're going to be staying out somewhere in a, a part of the neighborhood or maybe some city that you're not used to staying in or something like that. You don't know the area. Go ahead. Just throw this thing on, man. It's 30 bucks and it could definitely save you and your ride. So why not? And then, like I said, it's not the big old stupid clunky one that everyone just walks by like, oh, my God, that thing's hideous. What is he? Why does he have a steering wheel? You know, there you go. This little dude right here literally looks like something that could just be a seatbelt. But there you have it. Can't get it out. Can't reach it in. Can't pull it. Only way you're getting it out is if you like cut this bottom in, or if you somehow got some thick ass wire cutters, you can cut this in. But other than that, it looks good to go. And like I said, you just take a key. And I finagled with this earlier, and this is this is kind of tricky for me. I ain't gonna lie. So you stick a key in. There you go. You hear the press it down, and you just pull it out. It's that simple. Press it down. Pull it out. That is all you gotta do. So there you have it. Turn art, 
thirty dollars. I'll put the link down in the description. Uh, if you guys are interested in one, man, just go down there, click the link, buy you one. I'm not, you know, sponsoring them anyway, so don't think they're like sending me shit free, sh free shit. You know, I'm just buying stuff, trying to protect my, me and my damn car. That's all I'm doing, and sharing it with my other Mopar folks out there. Hell, anybody out there. This is not a Mopar specific thing. Go to any damn car. Hell, you can see up there. What is that? An old ass Nissan, old ass Mercedes Benz steering wheel. I don't know what the hell that is, but as you can see, it goes to any car. So you got a steering wheel that does have big old holes in it there you go turn art you can use this and it's way you know a, a much more sightly thing to look at than the big old stupid steering wheel locks that we're used to seeing from like the 90s that's it that's all if first time stopping by like subscribe hit that bell icon so guys get notification these videos go up so instagram channel load through seconds slow all one word i'll put it down in the description until next time to you i'm out peace